welcome to How to Piss Off Peer Part 2. Number one, slow coaches. You know who you are. You are the people who walk very slowly on a busy street and tend to weave so that however much you try to get past someone, it is simply not possible. Fucking walk to the side or a bit quicker. Either or will do. Thank you. Number two, journalists. Probably journalists to a specific paper who I won't mention, but more often than not, they are reporting on some kind of story that possibly is quite disturbing or newsworthy. This would be an excellent time to use spell checker or to proofread it or something. Missing out a word, a complete sentence or spelling something wrong really pisses me off when they're being paid to do so. Pay me less and I'll write it better. Number three, office whip rounds. Now I work in an office for my sins and for my bills and I know it is very fucking painful but the moment I despise a lot is when you get in the internal post, this wonderful thing, a card and an envelope. Now the card is more often than not addressed to somebody who I have no fucking idea who they are, I've never met them. And perhaps they are leaving or they're having a birthday or whatever. Now I understand there is a nicety involved in this, but I don't know this person. And if you read the card, most of them that have written in this card don't know this person either. So the majority of people have written things like, best of luck Gillian, and everyone has done exactly the same thing. So when this person reads the card, they're going to know, well I don't know who that fucking person is, and they don't really care anyway. The next step is that you have to give them money. Why? I don't know who you are. I don't want to have to put my hard-earned cash into your pocket because you're having a child or something. Just fuck off. If I want to give my money to someone, I'd rather give it to a homeless person, not someone in an office. Following on from the last point, number four, people singing happy birthday. Now, if it's your mates and you're out and someone sings happy birthday, it can be quite fun because, of course, if it's your friends and they go, happy birthday, that's all right. I kind of cope with that. It's when you're in an office, for example, and it's a forced happy birthday and you all have to gather around and everyone goes, happy birthday. Just stop. You're ruining my birthday. It's just, just don't bother. Just give me a bum pinch and a nipple twig and let's be done with it, please. Number five, Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus. Justin Bieber, I, I have to admit, I do have some of his songs. Sorry, but you've done very well to get to where you are. That's brilliant, excellent. Number one, you're not black. Number two, pull your fucking pants up. I don't want to see your child bottom. It's not attractive. Also, having the crush of your trousers near your ankles is not a good look. Miley Cyrus, you have a tongue like a basset hound, put it away. Darling, you're not ladylike. Gyrating against everything is not attractive. This whole rebel thing has been done. Stop it. You were a really nice girl beforehand. And you can sing, okay? Number six, I think, I can't really remember. The evil earphone rank. Now, I fully believe that there is some form of spirit that is in the earth somewhere. That when you take your earphones out and you place them on a table, the earth divides and some form of gust of a spirit approaches and within half a second has taken your earphones, which were a nice long thread, and fucking mushed them to the point where it takes about four hours to pull them apart and put them back in your ears. Now I am someone that listens to a lot of music, from probably morning till night. My earphones are very important to me. Why does this have to happen? It's really annoying. Just fuck off. The perverts. Now maybe this is something that just happens to me. It probably is. Think of the bottom of the gene pool. Think of the sort of scum on the bottom, the sort of stuff that you find under your fingernails, right? If that stuff was made into a person, that is the person that would hit upon me. Now, I can be on a tube, an empty tube, by one other person. 
And that person will sit there and stare at me like this. And when I look at them, they don't look away. And then they want to talk. They all want to talk to me. And as awful as this may sound, normally this gentleman will sort of have fuck the police tattooed across his forehead and won't have any teeth and will probably have a smelly willy. Now these are the people that I don't think I'm compatible with. It, it, I, it's just not going to happen. You're sort of wasting your time talking to me. I, I don't really, I, you make me uncomfortable. These are the people that hit upon me and they think I like it. And no amount of, uh, I'm married, I'm a lesbian, I'm asexual, it doesn't seem to stop them. Why? Why is it never nice, pretty looking people? Please tell me this. I feel left out. I think I'm going to do a shorter one today. I feel a bit pissed off now. So thank you very much for watching. I, I hope you sort of enjoyed it. If you have things that piss you off, I'd like to hear about them so that it's not just me. I'm not generally pissed off all the time, but there are occasions. I think it happens to all of us. Ta-ta.